Ha ha yeah! Yeah! Ha ha yeah! Oh hi! Didn't see you come in! I'm Steve and this is my weekly diet update. Okay, looks like I went back up to 23%. I think I did a little bit too much celebrating last week when my body fat went down to 22%. But I'll get my act together next week. I'll be on vacation next week, uh, so I'll probably put on another percent of body fat. I'm not going to really stick to my diet over vacation. We're going to go up and see the solar eclipse up north in either Wyoming or Oregon. Yeah, so I probably won't do a video next week or maybe the week after. We'll see what happens. Yeah, a lot of people see my sub count. It's over 500 and they think I'm something special. But I've had this uh, YouTube account for 10 years and it's accumulated over 10 years. I used to do little mashup videos where I'd um, grab clips from movies and video games and cartoons or whatever make little silly mashup videos and I think that's where I got most of my subscribers over the years yeah most of those are gone now all of those videos I used to make they either got flagged or blocked or whatever I, I never monetized any of it though I never got a penny for any of it but I just took them all down I didn't want to deal with the trouble I think since I've been doing these diet videos maybe it's gone up like a hundred or so I'm going to make it simple again this week and just uh, share some of the stuff I picked up over the past week. Starting with Shin Godzilla Blu-ray DVD digital combo. This is a movie I've been waiting for for a long time. I actually was going to go watch it at the theater. It had a limited release over here. And the one day uh, it was playing at the theater, I think I had to work overtime or we had a doctor's appointment or something so I didn't get to make it uh, my wife and I are both big into Godzilla movies so I've been waiting to see this for a long time I had no idea it was already out on DVD yet I kinda forgot about it we've been looking forward to this but it went so long without a release over here uh, this is a Japanese movie it went so long without a release over here I just sorta of forgot about it until I was watching a video by Mr. Vinegus Games and Toys and uh, at, he picked this up at Best Buy so if I hadn't watched that video I wouldn't have known that this was out yet because I never go to Best Buy or Target and look at DVDs much mostly I just go to thrift stores yeah if you watch my videos chances are uh, you are subscribed to Mr. Vinegus Games and Toys but if not you should go over there and subscribe to him and watch his stuff he's a really good dude, really funny dude with a lot of uh, knowledge on old toys and video games. He hustles all of the old video games and uh, and toys and does uh, pick up videos and whatnot. Actually has really great editing skills too and uh, a lot of funny little skits he does here and there. So thank you Mr. V for turning me on to this. I, we actually watched this last night and I really loved it. I, I love the Japanese style of movies. It's almost how movies used to be over here. I just love how everything is to the point. There's a lot of dialogue. Yeah, I think I like this even more than the American movie that came out a couple of years ago. Yeah, this movie's really dialogue heavy and the action is few and far between, but once it does get to the action, it's worth the wait. And I think all of the build up to to all the action in this movie's done really well. And I like the music in here. Godzilla's theme music has been a little bit different over the years, but I think all of Godzilla's theme music is in here like and uh bum 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 bum. So check it out. We spent twenty dollars on it. I usually don't spend that much on a movie, but my wife and I both really wanted to see it for a long time. It's actually not even in here. This is just the sleeve. But my wife took it to uh, my in-laws to watch it again today over at their house. The rest of the stuff I picked up over the week is second hand and, I, and it was all $11 for all of this stuff I got. It's nothing that impressive but I didn't spend more than $11 on it. 
so I might end up keeping it uh, or trading it. There's a video game convention in Sacramento at the end of the year. I think I'm gonna save up all this stuff and go take it there and see if I can trade it for stuff I want. I actually wanna cut back on my video game collection. There's a lot of stuff I don't really want. I kinda of wanna go through my collection and get rid of the stuff I don't want, uh, limit it to just my favorite games. Maybe trade uh, the games I don't want for, for games I do want. The one game I've been looking for for a long time is 007 James Bond The Duel for Sega Genesis. Just because I'm a big James Bond fan. And it has Timothy Dalton on the cover. That's pretty unique for a James Bond game. And I love that Timothy Dalton era of James Bond movies. Uh, Living Daylights and License to Kill. So that, that's a game I would like to have in my collection. I don't think I talked about this one last week. I picked up the DVD collection of Ninja Turtle movies. I love this first Ninja Turtles movie. I think it was 1989. That, that was probably one of the, my favorite movies I saw at the show back then. I remember two of my best buddies and my cousin and I waited in line to watch that the opening day and we loved it. I really love all the the stunt work in here with, and the, with the the dudes in the turtle suits and the animatronic faces. I think it still holds up today. And then Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. That, I really like that one too. I think me and some buddies saw that at the theater too when we were kids. The third one I never saw that one. I hear it's not that great and I can take or leave the new uh, computer generated movie TMNT. Okay, I picked up this compilation of these old uh, mythical Roman and Greek movies back from like the 50s and 60s. It's called Clash of the Olympians. It's just a compilation of about uh, 15 or so old uh, mythological Hercules type movies. Like those old Steve Reeves uh, Hercules movies. I really like movies like that with the big uh, muscle-bound uh, heroes. Kind of uh, pre-Clash of the Titans. I really love Clash of the Titans. These are all older than that, but I still really enjoy them. I think you can watch all of these movies for free on YouTube, but I just like having them all in one DVD. I think it was a dollar I spent on this. The Best of Cops. Uh, this was an old cartoon from the 80s. I used to watch this when I was a kid. It seems like it's getting a little obscure. I never hear anyone talking about it. The other day, um, I hadn't even thought about it for years, but the other day, Mr. Vinegas again on his video was uh, uh, searching for action figures at a swap meet, and he found some of these old action figures. And I remember I had some. They were like big G.I. Joes. They, they were built the same as G.I. Joes, but they were probably two or three inches taller, and they came with cap guns based on this show about a bunch of cyborg cops that battle cyborg crooks. I think the toy line was called Cops and Crooks. It was around the time Robocop was big. It was kind of like a more kid-friendly version of Robocop. Although I think there was a Robocop cartoon too. I think I had some action figures from that too. Then they had Caps guns as well. But anyway, I, I liked this show when I was a kid. I don't know if it holds up anymore. It's just something out of, out of my memory that just popped in there and I, and I saw this at the thrift store for a dollar. I just remember in this cartoon the one thing that always tickled me was, I thought it was hilarious, that there's this guy, I think you can see him on the back there, this one of the cops, his name was Long Arm, and he would shoot a handcuff out of his, his wrist. He would, he would shoot a handcuff out of his wrist and it would capture the bad guys. And I just remember it was hilarious that like, he would go home to his wife and family at night in his uniform and his wife would call him Long Arm, like, Oh, Long Arm, how was your day at work? Oh, fine, honey. Uh, <laughs> so apparently he is, his birth name was Long Arm. He was born to be a cop, I guess. Yeah, it was a lot like G.I. Joe. There were a lot of uh, kooky characters. Kind of like on G.I. Joe, you'd never see people in the military dressed up like those guys. It was kind of the same with cops. Like, they all had little themes. Each cop 
you never see a cop in real life dressed like any of these guys. And the bad guys were mobsters. And they were cyborgs too. I just to totally forgot about this show until now. I think maybe I was in second or third grade and I was big into this show. I picked up a couple of VHS tapes. I don't watch them anymore on a VHS player, but I kind of want to have a collection for them. Because eventually when I make my man cave, I want to line the wall with all my favorite VHS boxes. Kind of make it look like a, a retro video store. So I w I've been trying to collect a lot of my favorite uh, VHS's. They're usually 25 cents or less, so have them all in a box, taking up space. But eventually I want to line the walls up with them. Have my man cave look like a, a old school video store. But I found a couple of my favorite movies. Uh, the Princess Bride, 25 cents. That's no biggie. I just wanted to have this for my VHS collection. I'm sure everyone's already seen this movie, but if you haven't, you really should, and I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? And then uh, Sean Connery as 007 in You Only Live Twice. I already had this one, but I wasn't sure about it, so I just picked it up for 25 cents. And then for a couple bucks, I got this Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. I assume this was worth something. Uh, so I picked it up. It was two bucks at the uh, thrift store. The funny thing about this thrift store I go to, the Hope Chest, is they have a bunch of games and stuff behind the counter that no one can get to, and, and they think they're worth something, but they're all a bunch of sports games or Guitar Hero, stuff like that. And I think they're priced higher, but then the, you'll find a bunch of stuff like this out with the DVDs that are marked at the DVD price. So I picked this up. But my wife likes these Harvest Moon games, so I might give this to her. So we might keep this. If not, I might sell it or trade it. And then Transformers, the video game, based on the the movie. I think this movie's already like 10 years old. But uh, anyway, I didn't, I didn't have this, and it was a couple bucks. It, um, it has the book and the disc and then a bonus disc. I don't know what that's all about. But then when I took the disc off, it has two copies of the same game in there. I don't know how that ended up happening. Transformers the game, the, the black label, and then Transformers the game, the greatest hit red label. Oops. So I guess I got two of the same game for two dollars. And then I got these for a dollar a piece. Max Payne 2, Fall of Max Payne. Uh, the disc is nice and it has the book. I don't think this is worth anything. I just, I can't pass it up for a dollar. Rebel Raiders Operation Nighthawk. It looks like a pretty fun, uh, airplane shooter. I think it might be one of the earlier PlayStation 2 games because the uh, the disc is blue. I looked it up and it's not really worth much but for a dollar I'll take it. And then NASCAR race car racing for PlayStation 2 uh, 2007. I'm not into NASCAR racing at all. My dad loves it and my grandpa so sometimes I'll watch it with them. I can get some enjoyment out of it, but it's not really my thing. And I don't think this is worth much more than I spent for it, but a dollar is not bad. Yeah, this is all stuff I pick up uh, Saturday afternoon if I go look at the thrift stores or yard sales. I don't get up early enough to find good deals at the yard sales or the thrift stores. I don't get out of work until 2 at night, and then I go to the gym and then I come home and try to play Final Fantasy XII for about an hour and I'll fall asleep playing Final Fantasy XII. That's how tired I am. I, so I don't get up early to go look at yard sales or whatever. Someday I might try. I'll probably find a lot better deals. Speaking of Final Fantasy XII, uh, yeah, I'm about 55 hours into that. I was really getting into it. I'm at level 39 or 40 now with all my characters. I was really getting into it. 
but it feels like it kind of came to a dead stop now. I went through boss fight after boss fight after dungeon after dungeon. I was having a blast with it. And then finally I get to the big Imperial City and I'm like, oh, now things are going down. This, there's going to be so much to do in this place. And now I'm kind of stuck and lost and there's nothing to do. And, and the pace of the game has really slowed down and it's like... Oh, you don't. You, you need to get this special currency to go any further. Like just, just uh, crap like that. Like, come on! I just fought all these epic monster bosses and everything, and battled through all these dungeons and castles. And then you're gonna. I'm gonna come here, and they're gonna. Oh, you can't go any further because you don't have the right type of currency or whatever. Oh, you. Oh, you can't come in this area yet. Come on. So I'm getting kind of irritated with that. I'm hoping it'll pick up. I hear a lot of people don't like this game, Final Fantasy XII, but I've really liked it so far. I don't quite understand the story, and, all, and I don't understand who a lot of the characters are. But overall, I really like it. I'm just getting kind of irritated now. I was hoping it was getting close to the end. Anybody want an ice cream? Yeah, so I'm hoping it'll start picking up again. Uh, if, if I have a long way to go, I'm hearing it could be up to 70 to 100 levels. So I'm probably not even halfway done. I thought I was approaching the end of it. So I'm hoping the pacing kind of picks up soon. Because I don't want to give up on it at all after I spent 55 hours on it. Like I say, after work, I try to play it for about an hour. I'll fall asleep playing the game. I've never done that before in my life. And then I'll play a little bit of it on Saturday. So I'm, about, I'm up to 55 hours. I was hoping it was the end, or it was approaching the end, but I think there's still a ways to go. Yeah, sorry for being so hasty this week with my video and just uh, running through it. I'm planning on doing something better in the future. I might, I think I'm going to do a shout out video to some of the people I want to shout out and maybe do a giveaway. But I need some time to prepare for that and maybe set it up to make it good. I'm going to be gone for a couple weeks on vacation so I might come up with something creative to do. And I still have to beat Final Fantasy XII. This will be the first Japanese role-playing game I've ever completed. If I completed it. I think it's a way to my appetite. I might go back and try to play Final Fantasy III or Final Fantasy II on Super Nintendo. And I really want to play that new Final Fantasy XV. That looks really cool to me. And I like the music in there from what I've heard. There's a track in there that sounds like the orgy theme from Conan the Barbarian. I think the composer of that game is the composer from Street Fighter. I forget her name. It's a female composer. But I really like all the music that, that she makes for games. Okay, that's it for this week. Um, I'll see you next time with my diet update. I'm going to get back to playing this game.